Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Danny, aka your casual collector. I uh, just wanted to do a quick haul video. Um, I just chose some of the stuff that I've gotten from Comic Con until now and kind of spread it out. Uh, made my DC pile and my Marvel pile, so I'll be showing you my DC pile today. In the background, I have uh, the New York Comic Con. Poison Ivy figure, which should go pretty good with my daughter's um, Super Best Friends Forever San Diego Comic Con set. This one I believe is an inch taller, so the boxes don't really match up, but I think she looks pretty cool, so we'll have it in her room in here somewhere. Also for my daughter, I picked up uh, My Little Pony annual 2014 it was only 99 cents when we passed by uh, Hastings so we're like well it'll give us something to read to her and for her to just tear it up if she wants to so not bad now on to my haul uh, I just picked this up today Gotham Academy the Sorry about the glare. The um, Teen Titans Go variant cover with Raven in the back. I actually just read up um, the Young Gotham Sampler 2015. Uh, they kind of have like half of the first issue of Gotham Academy. And it read pretty interesting. So I think I might pick up the uh, trade paperback and see what's going on with that um, for any of you guys that like anime anime style and not all about superheroes this is kinda like a little drama thing I think my brother-in-law could get into this so if you're watching it keep your eye on this Gotham Academy and I like the cover so pick that up my wife chose this cover today World's Finest, Huntress and Power Girl. I don't know much about these uh, these issues, so I'll let her read it and tell me what's going on with it. Because it looks like a different Supergirl and uh, another world Robin, but I don't know. I'll let her tell me what's going on with this issue. And she also found this pretty nice pickup. We didn't get this when it came out, so it was nice that she found it right now. It was three twenty-five, but I mean, still a near mint copy, so put the money down on that one. David Finch. I picked this up, uh, I believe, last week. Another Teen Titans Go variant. Um, as you guys all know, the, uh, the issue where Batman gets to know the identity of the Joker or whatnot, I didn't think that was that, um, that key, that big of a key, but personally, I like the cover, so I, I just got it for the cover, really. Looks funny. Um, got this in the mail I think two weeks ago I haven't been able to get uh, Darkseid's first appearance or his first cameo but this one was only 25 bucks this is I believe his second or third appearance and first appearance on the cover New Gods number two it's not in the best condition um, the chip right there, a uh, couple spine ticks, there's a little tear in the bottom. The paper's just folded, but so it's not the best condition, condition, but it's nice to have an early appearance of Dark Seed, Dark Side, whatever you guys want to call them. Uh, like I mentioned before, i um, into the Teen Titans and the Doom Patrol. So, 
saw the listing on eBay with the changeling which is Beast Boy and Garfield Logan his early early appearance origin how he looked at the time Doom Patrol on this side New Teen Titans in the back I don't know what's going on here so I'm gonna read it see what's up with his origin um, it's probably one of my favorite Teen Titans and also got this one from a, the same seller before the Teen Titans Doom Patrol like I've mentioned I'm really into Doom Patrol some of the Silver Age stuff so um, I should have just picked up both of them I might have to pay extra to get it shipped again so I'll buy the part two but I'll start to read this one the official index there's his early Beast Boy look appearance and I'll check it out see what's going on with what this is all about the Teen Titans in the back or in the front Doom Patrol in the back another index that I picked up was the official Titans index looks like this is the original team um, Wonder Girl, Speedy, so, and this one, I've actually wanted this issue for a while, um, when the Teen Titans show got announced, it kind of shot up in price, to the point where I didn't want to get it, but this other, the same ones that I bought these two from, um, was also selling this one and I got it for ten dollars I believe it's not the best condition book but um, I don't know maybe you guys could tell me if I'm right or wrong correct me if I'm wrong but this is Teen Titans number six from the first volume Uh, and I believe this is Beast Boy's first appearance with the Teen Titans. Um, a guest star with the Savage Twist, Beast Boy. So this is actually before he was with the Teen Titans. And sorry about that. No, it looked like in Teen Titans number one. They're fighting a villain that shape shifts into all sorts of stuff. Uh, but that's not actually Beast Boy, from my understanding. I believe this is the first time before he even joined the Teen Titans. So, I wanted this book for a while. Finally got it, since it was only 10 bucks. Uh, these two, I picked up for, I believe, $12. Robin. Son of Batman, number one in the variant. Uh, got a. I won the listing on eBay. Like I said, I think it was like twelve dollars, and pretty much I just wanted it because of this cover. But I figured I might as well get both. I didn't end up getting the San Diego Comic Con uh, variant just because it was the black and white only, and. I don't know, the black and whites don't really do it for me all the time. But this one looked pretty cool, so. The next book I picked up um, while dropping off my brother's New Mutants. It's um, Batman Annual number three. I have the other two, and at the time I wasn't going to the comic shop anymore when number three came out. So I was glad they still had it uh, near Mint, so picked it up there cover price wasn't too bad um, and the last book that I got uh, I might return I'm not sure yet haven't made up my mind is um, 
Brave and the Bold, number 200. Um, significance is the first uh, appearance of the Outsiders and first Katana appearance. Uh, the reason why I might return it is where is it? Oh, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see right there. They listed it as a mint, near mint, but there is kind of a fold. It's not a uh, color breaking fold, but still, I think that's gonna drop it the. It's gonna drop it down. I actually had another issue of this uh, before the big uh, Suicide Squad hype, but it had like a big black print right here. I still have it. I'm not sure. I'll probably sell it after the hype goes up with the movie. So, because of that, I wanted to get a better copy, and this one doesn't seem like it's that much better. So, might as well just. I'll probably get rid of both of these and get myself a really good copy later on. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys have noticed, I try to keep my videos under or around 10 minutes. I try not to go over too much. I feel like um, sometimes videos could drag on. So I just try to hurry up and get through it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or answers or anything on the comics that I showed, uh, comment below. Uh, if you guys liked the video, like. And for those of you that are new, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys for the Marvel Hall. All right, thanks.